let's talk about the three days in hell. The first three days of pretty much every water fast. The first three days are very tough, and here's why. The first day, you're processing out the last of your glycogen stores. Your body is expecting food, but it doesn't come. Because of that, you crave. Those cravings make it tough to get through. The second day, your glycogen is completely depleted. And your body is scrambling around trying to find something to eat. So it's craving and spazzing out. The third day is really bad. But by the end of the third day, you found your fat stores and your body is switched over to ketosis and everything gets a whole lot easier, which is why it's three days in hell for a lifetime in heaven. I've gone 30 days myself. The first three, always hard. Whether I do a three day fast or a 15 day fast or a 30 day fast, first three are hard, the rest are easy. So what can we do to prepare for the first three days in hell? The first thing we can do is we can plan out something to keep us busy, physically active, keep our mind occupied, whether it's putting together puzzles, learning a new skill set, going out and do an exercise, home projects, read a book, whatever it is that you have to do, keep your mind off of it. For some people, easing into their fast is the way to go. So they will go OMAD one meal a day for the week leading up to their water fast so that it makes it a little bit easier to transition into it. I'm, I'm always a cold turkey type of guy. I just jump right in. I make sure I have at least three days worth of work to do or projects or plans, and I just keep at it. You really do just have to force yourself to suffer through. If you muscle through three days, it gets way easy. So the first three days, find projects. Be ready. Be mentally prepared for the fact that it is going to suck. Okay? Be prepared to suffer. Be ready for it. Say to yourself, I'm going to suffer. Three days in hell, a lifetime in heaven. It's going to suck. Three days in hell, a lifetime in heaven. It's going to be hard. Three days in hell, a lifetime in heaven. Be ready. It's called three days in hell because it's three days in hell. It's not a cute nickname. It's called a lifetime in heaven because it gets easy. And your body just feels super awesome. Extra energy. Clarity of mind. Everything is cool. Three days in hell for a lifetime in heaven. Plan accordingly. All you really have to do is make sure that you stay busy for three days. You don't leave yourself enough time to focus or think about food. You actively avoid places where there's food smell if you can. Not everyone can actively avoid going shopping. If you are a mother and you have children, you have to cook their dinner. So you may have to be around food. Be mentally prepared for that. It's just temptation. It will pass. You will be fine. You will be fine. You will be fine. A couple other things that you can do. If you plan everything out, that's good. If you have no free time, that's great. But sometimes you can't plan everything out and you end up with free time. So. During those days, if possible, just soak in a hot bath. Soak. Let your cares wash away. Go to bed early. Whatever you have to do to get through the first three days, do it. Deal. Suffer through. Muscle through. It's hell, but it's worth it. And next up, exercising on a fast. I look forward to seeing you there.